All right, what's up guys? Brian here with another Java game programming tutorial. So uh, this time what we're gonna do is something that I know a lot of you have probably been waiting for for a while, and that is creating towers, or at least the very, very base of towers. Literally and figuratively, we're gonna create the base of our tower classes and tower setup in this episode here. So I don't think it'll take too long because we're pretty much just getting the constructor built with the uh, coordinates and the texture and whatnot. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. So first things first, we're gonna make a new class. And I imagine we're gonna kind of rework how this is all set up. But for right now, we're actually just gonna create a new class per tower type. So I think eventually what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of create like a hierarchy, uh, as in like we'll have different types of towers and every tower will kind of uh, get a certain amount of like textures and methods and variables from this like overarching tower type. But for now, we're gonna create a new class for every tower type just to kind of debug and get the bakes or get the basics in the game. So the way I'm gonna name it is tower first, and then cannon, which is the type of tower it is. Uh, and this is just gonna be a basic, you know, look at the enemy's fire projectile kind of tower. No special things here, basic tower. So we got our tower cannon class here, and we need a couple variables. We obviously need the X and Y coordinates, and then an int for the uh, width and the height, and the damage, and then we need the texture for it, and make sure you import that. And let's try making the constructor. So public tower cannon. Gonna take an X, a Y. Actually, you know what? Our enemy class, we have it just taking a uh, a start tile instead of an X and a Y, uh, which makes it easier. So let's do that instead. So let's make another variable. I actually can't see my keyboard the way I'm set up right now to record, so that's why I'm kind of sloppily typing this. Uh, private tile, start tile, why is that a... Uh... Oh. That'll fix itself. Uh, so yeah, instead of uh, the X and Y, let's take a texture and a tile for the starting position. And, hmm. We'll obviously need more stuff eventually, but for right now, let's uh, work with what we got here. So this dot texture equals texture. This dot start tile equals start tile. Oops. This dot X equals start tile dot get X. And this dot Y equals start tile dot get y and let's go and make a update method which I don't think we're gonna do this time but we will eventually and a draw method and for the draw method it's actually gonna be the same as our enemies draw method so you can just go over here I believe we just have a draw quad text call here we do so if you just copy that and paste it into our tower draw method it should import the the artist method automatically for you. If not, just type that at the top. Um, hmm. Now that we have that set up, uh, you know what, it should take damage too. We don't have damage implemented yet, but might as well put it in there. This dot damage equals damage. So let's try going to our boot class now. And after we make our player, let's make a new tower cannon. I'll just name it tower. And for the texture, we're going to need to add a new texture in here. Um, so I actually made one in Photoshop. It's two layers. You have like the base and then you have the cannon on top, which rotates to kind of aim at the enemies. Uh, for right now, we're just going to put in the base of the tower. So I'm gonna cut forward here real quick when I have the texture in here. And ta-da, 
it's there. So I actually added the base and the gun. Um, we're just gonna draw the base for now, and then we could draw the gun eventually, or maybe we can draw the gun, but it won't move right away. That's gonna be another episode. Uh, so for the texture, we're gonna use our quick load method and do cannon base, and then what's after that? Our start tile, I believe. So grid dot get tile. Now our enemies for me start at the 14th tile on the x coordinate and the eighth tile on the y. So let's do 14 and seven. It's not gonna actually shoot them, but just so you can kind of see them side by side. And then for damage, it's not actually hitting anything, but we'll just do 10 damage for now. Get rid of that. And then in our update, uh, I guess our, our while loop for the boot class, after we update our player, uh, we're going to draw our tower. All right, and let's see how that works. It didn't. <laughs> That's exciting, isn't it? All right, what's, what went wrong here? We're putting in a texture and a start tile and the damage, and we're drawing that texture. Oh, width and height, we never set this, that's why. Yeah, so it's, it's drawing at the right spot, but it's giving it a width of zero and a height of zero, so we can't see it. So let's do this dot width, and we'll be super technical here and do it the right way and say get width. We know it's gonna be 64, but in case we ever want to change that, might as well uh, make it easily changeable by having it based on our tile size. Um, what does that give us back a float or whatever? Okay, let's do this then. All right, now let's try it. Cool, so we got our little tower base there. Um, Oh, I, might, I should have said this earlier. I'll put a little text box on the video, I'm sure. But you can get this texture and the canon texture um, from the video description. So just go ahead and click the little imager link or whatever link, and you could save it. And then just drag and drop it into the uh, res folder here like we have. And then you should be able to draw it on the screen. So I think what we're going to do next time is we're going to draw the canon on top of it. Uh, as you can see in the canon gun texture here and then kind of make it rotate so like it can like follow the enemy. So say it's locked onto like this enemy right here, it'll actually like look at it and follow it. Um, and we might do projectiles next time, or at least like the, the base for them. But yeah, now that we got our towers are coming in, we got our enemies in, game is really starting to shape up. And uh, also I might have an announcement video of something that I'm pretty excited about uh, sometime before next week's episode. So keep an eye out for that. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.